probably should have filmed that as well. <laughs> Guess what kind of car we got for you this time? If we have a knife, I'll be able to. It's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Cannibal Cars. We got another really clean car for you. What is the crack? Episode 2 of Cannibal Cars and uh, it's more of the same. Why change the recipe? <laughs> uh, we're gonna see if we can get this Corolla to run and maybe drive today as well. Yeah, I doubt we're gonna get as lucky as the old brown turd, but we'll give it our best shot and we'll see what happens. This car, it looks as though it's been off the road since 2013, so about seven years ish. Looks like it got a tip. Yeah, it's kind of hanging. It's a bit looking a bit sorry for itself. But it's all there. It's a complete car. So, I mean, on paper, touch wood, we might, um, yeah, she might go. The rubber on the straw is pulled away, so we'll have to address that. And I know, I think two or three of the wheels are sticking as well, so we'll have to loosen them out. Yeah, the car has the usual um, Toyota rust. Oh, low down. Pockets are fast. It's stinky around there, the bottoms of the doors. But listen to the doors. Brilliant example. All the doors close like brand new. All the pillars are all perfect. It's just panel cosmetic sh and the boot. Looks like someone loved the car at one stage. It's got a bit of a shiny exhaust and it's super light to on it. The interior is spotless. Easter eyes on that. Grey tweed. Like new. Get the shoes there. I love them. So, yeah, car five speed. Um, yeah, so I guess. Get running. You want to play the glove box lottery first? Oh, yeah. It's everyone's favorite part of the day it's the glove box lottery. Oh, Three glasses. I just suddenly started filming the future. Oh, you like? Ho, ho, ho. See what we've got. Change of ownership. Motor insurance. Oh, test certificate from oh the last one, 2013. Permanent export certificate. Receipts for headlamps, side lights. Cool. Oh cool. A handwritten receipt from this guy to this guy. In good faith. Condition has seen 399 pounds in 2008. Cool. Someone gave me an insurance quote for 127 pounds. Lal, about a month's insurance in the Republic. Six year anti corrosion warranty book. Clean as a whistle, Homer. Where did that indicator light come from? China, it's a. What else have we? Oh, there's the last test certificate and the last tax. Cool, that's nice. Oh, cool, there's a fuel consumption um, cert. Nobody knows this stuff better than me. And a notice of permanent export. I guess someone had intended bringing this into the Republic. Come out, you black hat hand! No, no, none of that. 2020. Yeah, not, no, no epic glasses. Uh, still pretty cool. The old holy megal. This key is on the old hairy edge there. She's broken on both sides. Another holy picture. The usual. SH1T. Jesus Christ kept this car on the road. Not. He doesn't exist. Next thing is... Get a battery, obviously. Um, get to see if it'll turn. See, so crank the engine. I'll take off the the coil lead and let the engine turn without starting. And I'll crack the fuel hose on 
this side of the pump and see is it drawing up petrol and what condition the petrol's in. If that's all gravy, we'll give it a shot at starting it. If that doesn't, then we look at the points and stuff. So shouldn't be, shouldn't be much hassle. Who knows? Maybe the car is sea solid. We'll find out now soon. All right. Um, I am going to crank the engine first. Let's see how we get on. I'm going to get the right size socket. Good content. Right. Same story as the last time. 19 mil socket. See, will this engine turn freely? Oh ho! She loves it. Very smooth sounding, very free. So that's brilliant. All right. So we know the engine is turning over and it's turning over quite smoothly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack this hose it's the outlet of the fuel pump so that when i turn off the engine oh i'm going to take off the um coil plug as well so that the car won't start by accident fat chance when i crank the engine if the fuel pump is working and there is fuel we'll pump it up and we'll be able to see the condition of the fuel as well to see can we go forward just as it is or do we need to get another little tank ready for it so that's what we're doing okay i will hook up a battery Yeah, it's turning on lights. That battery isn't good enough though. The most valuable part of the fleet is the battery. That is not great either. Alright, plan C. Let's hook it up to the reliable Yaris. Those two batteries are dead. That's the running battery in the car, so it's charging all the time. So it should power this. Maybe. That battery could completely shine. Oh, is it? Yeah. Great. Good step one. We have fuel, we have power. Um, I don't know, we have fuel up to the car up to the carburetor straight away. I'm sure there's only five ways to find out. Probably jumping the gun, but I just put the coil lead back on. So let's see if it fires up. As long as the battery's a bit dead, it's, it's turning a bit slow, so it might fire, but we can try. After that, then we can start diagnosing problems. No harm turning the engine over slowly like that anyway, just to get it um, freed up a bit. But um, yeah, it's definitely gonna need more power. This battery is completely so, uh, a good but flat battery would have a much better um, chance of responding to the jump, you know. It's a battery. Yeah, 105 amp G battery. There, yeah, that's what you want. You can feed it on. This is the one. All reliable. One step closer. We're just gonna pull off this air box and uh, see what the carburetor is doing. Does it have any fuel in it? It might, it might have to draw fuel. Like dead animal. Raccoon nest. Badger. <laughs> Clean as a whistle. <laughs> Actually, not really. Filthy. What's your look? Okay. Free and looks good, but no fuel yet. I just get a bit of fuel out of this to pour into the carburetor. I'm just gonna crack this once more. All right, my trusty assistant is gonna step out from behind the camera and crank the engine so I can get a bit of fuel poured in here. Go! Ah. Okay, we have no fuel. Just gonna hang a little false petrol tank off and stick it in there and leave it feet away. And we also have to go and get petrol again. Shocker. Really? Yeah, I don't have any in here. Alrighty. I am gonna fill this with petrol. And if you wanna have a look here. 
gonna flow. It's gonna get pulled out by a fuel pump out of this. So simple and effective. I'm gonna use this to prime the carb. Alright, we give her another bit of a prime and she might start drawing. You an old shot. You really? She's a runner. Oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. All this car needed to run was fuel and a battery. And it fired up, so yeah, it's ideal. I had to uh, trick it with a bit of fuel first. But uh, yeah, you can hear now idling. But on. Um, just waiting for the thermostat to open. Uh, I think it should be okay. Um, now I need to uh, jack the car up and slide this top mount back in so that we can move it around so that it won't bind up. So that's what I'm gonna do. Of okay, they, they just want to live. They just want to live. Yeah, she's pretty hot, and I'd say the, the old uh, thermostat isn't opening, so I'll have to get a rag to open that so I don't lose my eyes. The goggles do nothing. Good content. The 
site where the explosion took place is just 100 metres or so in that direction. The cars are still hot to touch and this scene of burnt and blackened cars stretches as far as the eye can see. No, no, it's okay. I was just doing that in case the, re the water gushed up out of it. That water doesn't look too bad, so chances are the rest of it isn't too bad either. Check this thermostat housing. See what she looks like in there. No. Well. Ugh. The first of our disasters. Yeah, absolute mother trucker. Other one totally fine now that the tension's gone off. This is how it should have come out. That's our thermostat there. This is uh, controlled by the water temperature and the uh, spring moves with the heat, changes its strength and it opens up a little port for the water to flow through. I just don't know if it's working or not. So the easiest way to do that is to just put it back together without it. We need to worry about this first. That is gonna fight us, I would say. Could we get in the welder out? I uh, have to move the car down closer to the welder. Back down here, 30 feet, but the brakes are sticking badly, so it's gonna take both of us to push it. You'll see, we won't have to press the brakes when we get to the downhill, it'll just stop itself, so. Let's do it. Red face time lapse. <laughs> a nut and weld it on and effectively turn it into a bolt head again. Nothing fancy, I just happen to have a good welder so I'm lucky. Alright, let's see if that's enough. I didn't get a great weld on it. I have a good welder, I didn't say I was a good welder. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's try that again. Hard to get at the stud. I don't think this will work either. That's okay. Are right, you ready? Yeah. That was better. I swear that broke loose. Yeah, I think it did. All right. Who even knows what that's doing? Oh, it's working. It's spinning. Is it? Yeah, I can see the bottom of it is. But it's going to tighten again once it pulls the rusty treads up through the bottom. So. Nothing would penetrate that, like, would it? Not the fluid, like. Yeah, would you? Some fluid would have just been lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Like I knew what I was doing. That was easy. All I needed was 1600 euros worth of a welder. I got it all around the stud and then filled up the hole. So there was a good old purchase on it. That's what she said. <coughs> so that's basically a bolt. Reuse that. <laughs> <laughs> She's a great woman for um, making up her own words. <laughs> Names of things and all, it's cool. Yeah. Oh, is it? Is it? Never mind, she's, in, she's an average child. <laughs> what are you doing, Jack? Um, putting the two bolts back on the thermostat housing. Uh oh! <laughs> well, the thermostat housing was that simple job we started an hour ago, was it? That's the very one key. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Heidi? Peekaboo! <laughs> Heidi? Heidi? Peekaboo! <laughs> we'll hold some content. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're done with this part. So what we need to do now is um, start her up and move her somewhere flat so I can change the wheels. Take off, have a quick look at the brake calipers so you can free it up. Put on some special wheels. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 
then then we're we're done until we want to do something else with it the next chapter of its life or it might just be sold <laughs> by the next episode right's a bit spongy all right <laughs> this is the for sale lad <laughs> Well, okay, so now let's move it and put cool wheels on it and then never go at it again. Nice clean interior. Alright, so what you get? No. No, there you go. Over to me. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> How are we doing now, Jack? We are trying to free up the brakes a little bit. Because they are well done. I'm wondering when I just crack the bolt off altogether. Will it even come off? Right, I'll get some bubbly water. Let's find out. That's sweet. That works. Take it break, pad. Where are we at now, Captain Birdsey? Let's push the piston back in. Another very specific tool, is it? Yeah. This is like as though it's done wrong. It should be in behind this, like. Could the idea is that it pushes it in, that it pushes that against that. Push that piston back in, right? So that should go in like that, you know? I will push that, but it's nothing to push against, you know? They should, they should, if, like down over a sit there. If that was here, is it? Yeah, but it has to be on this. Yeah. But then as you wind this out, this piece is pulling back, so it's effectively pushing. Oh, so. If it was there and you were unwinding it, the screw would push in there, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's not, safe. It's not working good because it can't fit in because this bar is in the way. Oh, I see. Yeah. Not gonna catch anything here, you know. Yeah. What happened? What has happened is this. Huh? When you're like that. Yeah. That plate has to keep that in there. Look. There, like that. Yeah. You yeah, know, so yeah. Go on. And it won't uh, slide down and then go over, no. Delete this quick. Nobody knows much more about technology, this type of technology, certainly, than I do. Right. Uh... Anyway, take one. I'm trying. <laughs> Can we get this car running, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, this tool works perfectly. Probably just fall back down. No. Yep. Why? Are you? Are you on 
works. Oh, okay. So we'll just do that real quick and then I'll get the nice wheels. See ya. From my cold, dead hands. All the way. That's the job. Hello. <laughs> the whole shock is loose. Just like that. Yeah, cool wheel at the time. I've watched it all unfold I've seen it take its toll And I don't want to cry And I would never try The major see what you think you see The major fear I went from the clear So this car running and driving all I needed was uh, petrol and a battery <laughs> freed up the front brakes and I just drove it around drove it up and down the road put on cool wheels and uh, now it's been slowly dismantled by my apprentice Off at the first glance A sweaty red complexion for a head You're fucking fuming Conversing with the bag of skin You call your neighbour The comic word exchange You set the tone and set the future Seeking refuge in the forest Get all your petty fellow swines Do us all a favour And go pack in that belly behaviour Till that soil to heal your soul Till that 
I have to make a trailer out of this car. Yes. There's a pair of lips in his trousers This is all you have an arse like a pair of crisps Oh, you think you're a big man, do you? You look like a banantee to me Chap drops through and says, I don't think so This is all you wear briefs at the age of 29 Oh, you think you're a big man, do you? You look like a banantee to me Chop gets pissed and tries to flip the bird Says oh, that's the wrong fucking figure, hold up you silly old spunker Oh, you think you're a big man, do you? You look like a banantee to me Chop says get off your bleeding high horse Says oh, I will when the horse stops laughing Oh, you're a big man, are you? You look like a banantee to me Chop says, what is it about you that makes you so special? So sorry for one, I don't smell like a pair of knickknicks after electric picnic. <laughs> Fuck this, he says. I'm off. So sorry. Oh, sit down, sit down. Don't give me that round. Sexy, lousy, good for nothing, no seeking, bone squeak. You rock a piece of shite. You look like you took a 45 to the nostril. Well, now you're into one here. test drive later. Two short and curlies for eyelashes. Your eyebrows look like Freddie Mercury's for only after a chicken katsu. See better hair, it was a tennis ball. You smell like a wheel burner or a wrestler's jockstrap. I've seen cigar butts cutting the t shirt off you. You give Rachel Green a run for her money. <laughs> oh, sit down, sit down. Don't give me that brown. Pull up a few guns, you'll catch your death and not you.
That car was a flyer, it still is, it's running like a clock. In so far as a will it run episode, it wasn't like a huge mystery or a lot of suspense. So we had to like add a little something to the episode to match the magic of the brown car episode, the old brown turd. So we chopped up another Corolla and made it into a trailer. <laughs> 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 yeah this was the absolute crack and i think that it shows in the episode kind of started on a height and we want to keep it going that way i think i made what might be the most tail heavy trailer of all time so we're gonna have to either get a counterweight for the front at all times or take out this uh lump of solid gold that went down the back of it in the shape of the Scratches new album. This is the music you heard in this episode. One of my favorite bands. We were absolutely blessed to have them on the show. Check this out. Probably the most Irish thing I've ever had in my hands. Bar my lad. If you like the music that was in this album, get on these guys Spotify and start listening to them. Like all their stuff, we put links everywhere. Just like to say a huge thanks to them as well for letting us use their music. Consider ourselves really lucky. Support the scratch. Please um, follow us on all our social medias. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Reddit. Um, we're going to be setting up a Patreon account as well. Um, where you can support us and get to see more of this crack. Like I said at the beginning, we're just two regular dudes. Doing this in our spare time because we like to do it. If you want to help us do more of this, we'll have a Patreon link up soon. Obviously, we'd love to hear from anyone who has a car that they think would make a good Wheel of Run episode. We'd love to travel to do an episode where the car is sitting. I think that'll do it for uh, episode two. Thanks a million for watching, everyone. And see you in the next episode. Cheers. <laughs>